All right. Welcome back. Hopping on here just to do a quick review of an app that I've never used before, but it looks a lot of fun, um, like a lot of fun. Uh, it's a new app called Magnific. Probably messing that up. Um, Magnific. I don't know. But it's it's AI that is going to be upscaling images, and it could really help my workflow. Uh, and, I, and I've been given 2,500 uh, tokens, and we're going to use a few of them. Uh, this is not an ad. <laughs> By the way, I just got a new screen recording tool, and I thought this could be a really good uh, case use to use both of them uh, to do a review video for the Magnific uh, AI, and then also get some experience using the new screen recorder. And I'm just hoping it all goes pretty smoothly so I can show you guys what's going on with both. Um, I'll leave links to both of these in the description of the YouTube video. Um, and again, this isn't an ad. I'm just tinkering today, as I usually do on the channel. Um, I haven't actually done a review or like a walkthrough in a while, so it should be pretty interesting. Anyway, let's get going. We're going to learn um, a as we go, because again, I haven't uh, messed around at all with the app. So just got it myself. We're going to we're gonna try to do a thumbnail upscale. So if you don't know, thumbnails are usually, you know, 1280 by 720 for YouTube. Um, I kind of rushed this job change input image what happens if I oh so it just like gets rid of it okay that's nice just wanted to make sure I thought it was telling me like I already messed up I've already encountered an error um like probably user error I'm always messing things up right out of the gate um see two times looks like only two times from now but even bigger upscale is coming that's exciting let's see write a prompt I wonder if it is like intuitive, if we leave it blank, what happens? You know what I mean? But um, I, I kind of just want it to be like clearer maybe. Uh, we'll leave it blank to see what happens may maybe. Oh, we can guide the upscaling process using the original prompt greatly improve the scale quality. Oh, okay. So, so could I put like, Like, like main subject. Hold on. <laughs> I'm like reading it now. To weigh specific parts of the prompt more heavily, you can include a number in parentheses between one and four. Let's just, let's just see what it does on, on a, on a normal basis. So HDR, resemblance. So for this first one, I definitely want it to be, it's, it's going to be a picture of me. So I kind of want it to be resembling me. I don't want AI to go crazy on it. That could be fun though. Um, automatic let's see what this is about advanced a parameter that should be mastered through experimentation that's fun i love that apps are you're really encouraging us to tinker here for most situations we recommend setting it to automatic however if you want to delve into really wild experiments and master magnific um i really hope i'm saying that right feel free to play with the engine well again let's just leave everything kind of stock and we'll, we'll save the experimentation for the uh animated picture it's not a gif or anything but uh for the picture I will use next. So final says, it's only going to cost me five tokens and I got 2,500. Thank you, Javi. Let's, let's start the process. We're upscaling, baby. So it's going to take this image, which is, again, a small thumbnail. I, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make it better. Because remember, I kind of generated a lot of the background with AI um, and then mashed it together in Photoshop really fast because I was in a meetings and uh, doing some other creative processes with a team. So I kind of rushed this job, which is not cool. Um, okay. I see what it's doing. Wow. Okay. It really makes my skin look better. <laughs> so it looks like it kind of got confused with my plugs. That's probably my end, right? That's the creativity scale. Probably if I adjusted that, it, it probably wouldn't have taken so much liberty. This is awesome though. It really like brings definition to it. Look at that. Look at the brain. That's pretty neat, dude. Um, yeah, it reminds me of like the, the HDRs that sometimes, right, video editors, image editors will crank it all the way up because they're like, wow, look how much it makes my image pop. Um, I feel like that's kind of what is doing, what this is doing, but it's also smoothing a lot of stuff out. I think the coolest part, um, besides what it's doing with my teeth, do you see that? <laughs> uh, is, is the skin. I think it really makes it pop. It kind of makes me look like I have better eyebrows even. 
Um, this is dope. This is dope. Let's keep playing. Okay. So now what? How about we crank the creativity down on it? Um, just to refresh. So this is allowing the hallucination of the AI, right? That, that's, that makes sense. Uh, here's where Magnific's magic shines, but be careful. Really high values can lead to some pretty strange results. And I already got some pretty strange, you know, looking features. So maybe we shouldn't confuse it. Um, we're cranking it all the way down to negative eight. Um, I think the HDR is what's bringing out um, some of these finer points, and I like that a lot. Look at that. Look at the um, scale in the background. Wow. That's actually kind of dope. It looks way more ornate. Um, okay, we'll crank that down. Maybe the resemblance needs to be, like, maxed out. Increasing the value will make the generation closely resemble the image, but very high values can result in blushier, dirtier look. Okay, maybe we'll keep that as is. We got we have credits. Upscale it. Okay, so let's see the differences. It even made the money look more realistic too. Actually, that's that's kind of crazy. I love this slider. Such a good visual impact for what it's doing. Wow. Okay. What if I, let's start experimenting. I like this. I could see myself definitely using this for images that I'm trying to grab stills of and I want to make that thumbnail. And I'm like, man, that's the image, but it, the resolution just isn't there. I can't upscale this without sort of losing some of that um, quality. Uh, did the same with my ear here. In all fairness, in this video, I was wearing plugs that sort of blend into my skin tone. So that that's probably what's happening here. Um, I'm the weirdo uh, <laughs> in this situation. So just keep that in mind. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and replace this. Uh, I also want a Charlie Brown image because this is sort of classic, um, old school. But I thought we could have some fun with this one. Uh, let's see what just you know what a Charlie Brown how it's kind of grainy, granular looking uh, vibes on that on that uh, animation style. How about we try to recreate it? Let's let's punch up the HDR resemblance. Let's go down. Maybe we can avoid some of this, this like, you know, they called it dirty. I don't want to call it dirty. I don't think it looks dirty. I think it's doing its job. It's trying to blend it in. Um, so yeah. Okay. Upscale, baby. This is fun. This is a fun app. This is a useful tool. Again, I can see me using it all the time in my own workflow as a content creator, just using images all the time into videos that are like 4K videos, 2K videos. I'm finding like little thumbnails online that again, would be awesome. Um, this would be great. This would be great. 10 out of 10 so far. It's a lot of fun too. I, I love using these new apps. Look at that. <laughs> okay. So what happened? Looks like it made it more sharper. You guys want to get really weird and creative with this one, though? Maybe this, like, <laughs> choosing such a flat image might have been a weird, weird call here. And the HDR is cranked out of the wahoo. And again, that's probably what's making this really, a uh, the, like, definition pop. I'm not sure it, it would be a great choice for the animation, but let's crank up the creativity. And uh, give it some more liberty there. You know, having some fun. Let's let's start sparkle. What is this? Let's just have some fun here. All right, all right. So we're using a different engine. It's an advanced feature, but I thought, hey, why not, right? This could be pretty exciting. Thanks again, Javi at Magnific for just letting me tinker. I was really interested in this because I saw it on X earlier, I think maybe last week. Um, and I was going to tinker with it today on my Saturday. Um, and now I am. So this is awesome. It's been a lot of fun. And I got some more credits left, too. This might be my last little short tinkering, you know, excursion for this review. But, <laughs> yo, it looks really good. Holy hell, look at that. Wow. Okay, actually... Yo, Snoop, though. Look at Snoopy. Okay, 
there might there's like a lot of applications for this outside of what I was even thinking I could use it for. How about we think of one more really fun thing that we could do? Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> I like how Snoopy's body sort of like turned in <laughs> to like squiggly lines. That's kind of fun though. I love this so much. Um, okay, let me see if I could uh, quickly find a different photo. Give me a second. Got a lot of screenshots. That could be good though. Because a lot of them are like this. The quality's not great on the screenshot. Um, but that's kind of what upscaling could be, right? And, or like manipulation. I think we'll let it run its creativity on this one too. Maybe turn it down a little bit. Uh, crank up the HDR because again, it's a really bad screen grab. Um, it, we'll play with this. How about we start with a good middle zone? And it's got some magic sparkle. Magnific Sharpie. Hey, I don't know. We'll try it. Again, th this is a pretty, br oh, I've been skipping the prompts. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I did that. I haven't even used a prompt. Because I haven't focused on anything. Maybe we'll incorporate that in the last thing we do with this uh, this little screenshot. Yo, I'm having so much fun. It totally, like, escaped me, you know? I'm just still looking at the snowflakes on this bottom one right here. Look at that. That's so crazy. Oh. Oh, I look old. No! What is that? <laughs> ah! Ah! Jump scare, dude. But also, like, look at the chair. <laughs> Jump scare, but also, damn. It, like, remained blurry. Like, it, 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 like, acknowledged that it was still in the background. It's not the main focus, but it, it still looks shinier. It still looks more high def. That's scary. This is scary. Younger. How do I do that? <laughs> um, like, like, subject, right? Is this... Yeah, like subject younger or what do I <laughs> jump scare, bro? Beautiful green eyes, subject younger. Oh man, okay. So, okay, I'm gonna assume it's like a scale. Like you just like okay, if if it's at one, right? Maybe it'd be like a one point three or <laughs> two. Do I look that fucking old? Is that what AI sees of me? This is cool, though. Aside from the absolute jump scare that is my face in the future. Wow. Well, my eye is up here. I didn't even notice that. Look at this. <laughs> I love AI so much. Um, okay. Let's resemble more. Let's take away some of this creativity, AI. I'm taking, I'm taking it away. You, no, I'm taking it away, AI. Uh, now let's upscale again. This is probably my last one. I think I have some better ideas. If we want to see a different video or a different review, I still have a lot of credits left. Shout out Javi. Um, maybe I'll even incorporate this in some of the videos I make too. A again, this is such a cool app. Um, I can see it being applied definitely in my workflow. Wow. What a jump scare though. I, if that's what I'm going to look like, I got to gotta go to the gym more or something. Okay, so now... Man, the wrinkles on my head. This makes me feel like a cartoon character. This is fun, dude. This is so wild. Like, look at the hair. And it kept my, my plugs in that time. That's dope. It's all about settings. This is so dope. The slider, again, is, is such a good visual representation for what's happening. I look... Yeah, got baby look younger. Like, this jump scare was freaking me out, guys. Freaking me out. All right. What a cool app. I'm going to keep tinkering. I might make a different video if this doesn't come out the way that I thought it was going to come out. Because, again, all of this was recorded using a new app as well that I, I found recently called, like, Screen Dot Record. I feel like it was a very generic name, but a very powerful tool, just like Magnific.ai. So I'm going to call it from here. But thank you so much for hanging out and watching the video. Bye.